Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me on this video for a brief moment. I just wanted to share some thoughts with you that I've been feeling concerning the separation wound that all of us carry because of our having been birthed out of in what feels like a separation from the divine. Now, as each and every one of us are in fact the divine, we agreed, we co-created this experience and accepted we were part of a choice to differentiate ourselves, to individuate ourselves out of the divine and to become the divine in individual expression. But what we carry with that is a, a really, what feels really tragic oftentimes to us is a feeling of having been separated from the divine. And we're left with a journey back to uh, the full restoration with the divine without, I believe, without losing this individuated consciousness. So what we return back to is not only to what we once had, but I believe something so much more. So that's, and just what that so much more is, is yet to be uh, revealed and discovered by each of us unfolding and discovering what that is inside of our lives as we know them now. And as we go to each successive step or journey um, on this return back to the divine. So that's the challenge I believe that our soul chose, that our highest self chose to be a part of. And everything that we're feeling in our life at present and especially in the craziness that we feel going on in the world around us right now, in the dimension that we're in is equally a divine part of this separation, returning back to union. Um, this is a really high perspective to invite ourselves to feel is that the perfection that we came from is what has birthed the, imperf the imperfection that we are a part of now. So that makes the imperfection part of the perfection. And just to feel into that perspective, because a perspective alone can maybe um, tweak some things in our mental body, but to get the feeling tone of it, the emotive, that which brings the motion to our lives is to find the feeling tone of that. And so the invitation is where can you feel and bridge to uh, the divine holding you right now in your life as you know it in what's unfolding in feeling the full range of reactions and experiences that are to be felt. And there's a polarity, there's a duality, there's a challenge there's experiences to be had within and without for all of us going through profound changes. But this, I believe what's underneath all of those changes is this separation wound. That's the central piece that we're working out. And a wound by nature is an incision. It's a cut. It's a portal. And so even as our physical bodies uh, for some reason, I was thinking about this this morning, that our physical bodies have a belly button as the remembrance of the cord of which our physical body was birthed out of its source. So our soul has, our uh, higher dimensional bodies also have uh, this portal, this wound of uh, an awareness of where we came from. This. Where this plays out in our lives is in all the yearnings that we carry. The desire for more in physical 3D life, it could be even something, the addictive things, like maybe it's an attachment to materialism. And we may judge that as bad or wrong or not healthy, but in reality, it's an expression of our yearning to go back to divine source. And parts of us have it currently configured and attached to the idea 
of material bliss. But even all matter could not be more spiritual than it always has been. And even matter configured in 3D that's kind of held in ransom in uh, stores for us to pay a ransom price for us to buy things and take them. Um, and even those that are pushed and foisted upon us by controlling agendas, these are all divine and sacred things that we are journeying through and this so this yearning that we carry will we'll always um, while we're on this return journey and that might even be infinite is what it looks like is that there will always be these successive layers of yearnings and desires so that's what i'm kind of interested in asking you to feel into today what's going on in your life where is the yearning at and where is it leading to? I believe it's super intelligent in that you know, um, not very far. You say, wait a minute, I don't know. No, you do know. And for you to surrender into the knowing that you carry, it's in the willingness to go into the desire and into the yearning. And of course, that includes the willingness to go into the despair because to yearn is to feel what isn't that that you yearn for. Uh, so we've been programmed with this yearning. While we haven't lost our divinity, but for parts of us, much of the time, it feels that way. And we're bridging this back to our awareness, to our lives as we know them, as the learning and growth ground that we chose to enter. So. These are some of the things we want to uh, continue feeling into. And I wanted to mention to you and invite you to, we have a group call coming up in just a couple of days here on Sunday. And I'll put the link in the um, comments below. But there's probably going to be um, maybe 10 of us together, a core community. And sometimes we get a couple of other people that join us. And if you're feeling like you might be one of those that who would join us, we'd just love for you to come and feel free to come and feel the temperature in the room, the passion in the room for growth, for learning, for uh, becoming all that you were meant to be. And we'll be talking about, Jalal and I will be talking about the separation wound. Of course, we'll be hearing from Gabriel and Kasha as well, and others that want to share on the call will have the opportunity to do so as well. So thanks for listening. Thanks for feeling. And mostly thank you, if you're willing, to bear in your life this yearning. And however it's expressing, whether our past cross or not, on a much, on a very powerful dimensional level, your willingness to hold the yearning, to feel the despair, to bridge back to the divine in your life as you currently know it is a huge gift to me and to one another and to the divine itself as this um, beautiful expansion and experience and expression and experiment that we all chose uh, collectively supports all of us from getting it. There's never been a time quite like this time to make that kind of contribution just by who you are. Secondarily, you figure out how to uh, be in life, how to earn a living from this deeper and deeper gift expression that you are. So thanks for joining me. Bye for now.